everyone, my name is Kristen Hayes and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. And today we're going to be making this bright, cheery, um, beach kind of card. So I'm going to use some new colors that are coming out in the 2022-2023 um, annual catalog, which is, will be available May 3rd. And um, the two new colors I'm using are Parakeet Party and Sweet Sorbet. And I paired it with Mango Melody. And I'm going to be honest with you, the Parakeet Party was not my favorite when I first looked at it. And when I paired it with these two colors, I just love it. So sometimes you got to give colors a chance and pair them with other things and just to see if you really do like them or not. So to start, we're going to start with our base. And this is Mango Melody. This is one of my favorites. And this is eight and a half by five and a half. And I scored it at four and a quarter. Let's see if I've got a bone folder anywhere. Doesn't look like it. We'll just use our finger. There we go. Then I have this layering piece. Now this is part of the 2022-2024 in color designer series paper six by six and I'll just give you a quick peek at these these are all the new in colors so you've got orchid oasis here and then pair these are some of the different patterns than the ones we're going to be using you've got parakeet party all right let's see this you know the first one that's starry sky and this is orchid oasis this is Tahitian Tide, and then we've got Sweet Sorbet. And I will continually um, confuse Starry Sky and Orchid Oasis. I cannot keep them straight for the life of me, but those are all the new pretty in colors. So then we have a piece. This one is cut five and a quarter by four. This is from the same paper pack, and this is cut at five and a quarter by two. So we're just going to adhere this together. The little seal and then oh, I'm sliding all around. What else is new, right? And then we're just going to seal uh, center it right here in the middle like that. And then what I did is I cut a piece of Mango Melody. Now the dies I used are the scalloped contour dies and these do have a coordinating stamp set that go with it um, and then I love these dies so much so I used the second to biggest rectangle to cut this one out and then we're going to use this one for our sentiment um, and this is the smallest one all right so to get started stamping, we're going to do these palm trees here. And this is this is actually three different cuts. The stamp set they're out of is the Paradise Palms. And um, this has matching dies as well. So I'll show you those quickly. So you've got a nice detailing piece, the big pine tree, some leaves. These cut out... Um, this piece and this piece and then you can do the um, tree trunks as well so we're going to be using this the grass and we're going to be using the smaller pine, palm trees so we're going to do um, parakeet party and we're just going to ink this up and i've just got some scrap basic white I'm just going to give it a good press and then we're going to do our sentiment comes from the same stamp set this time we're going to stamp in mango melody Let's see. i'm just going to use the other side of this paper all right now i did say we need three of these but i already went ahead and cut two of them out just so you wouldn't have to watch me repeating myself and I did already die cut the grass out let's just take that little piece out so we'll put that aside for the moment while we get these two cut out I'm just gonna it's easier for me if I don't have more than one die on a piece and I'm just gonna poke I didn't poke all of the holes out I thought I had 
from the last time I ran it through. There we go. All right. Let's just get those off. Okay. So let's bring up the stamp and cut emboss machine and get these cut out. I'm not banging it too much. It can make you seasick. All right, so we're gonna just line up the trees. That looks pretty good. I'll just a little bit over this way. There we go. And then this one, we're gonna center. I hope you can see all the way over here. If not, I will show you when they're cut out. All right, let's put them through. All righty. Pop our trees out. There we go. Whoops, and then we just need our sentiment. That's popping right out. There we go on that one. And let's just put this away now. And we can finish assembling our card. So to line up the trees, first I'm gonna, let's put the base of the card together just because um, we're gonna use some dimensionals and some glue dots and that way we don't have a big lumpy card to put on our base and then this mango melody piece I did pop up on some dimensionals all right one more there we go we're just gonna center that now for the trees what I did is I took two, I wanted three sets Oh, this popped off my other card. We're going to make a bow this time, I think. I don't like that. I'll show you that when we get there. But So I'm just kind of eyeballing where I want the trees. And I'm just going to use some seal on here. And it doesn't matter too much about the bottom of the trees because they're going to be covered. And then we'll put some seal on the next one. And then for the third set, I didn't want to put it on dimensionals because that was too high. And I didn't want to seal it because I didn't want it that flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use some glue dots. Oops. There we go. And one more for each of the trees. And then we're just going to pop that right in the middle. So that gives a little bit lifted, but not, you know, crazy. And then we're going to do on this sweet sorbet grass, I'm going to take some of my mini dimensionals. We'll pop that up. Oops, there we go. And I wanted to put this down a little bit so you'll still be able to see the bottom of the trees, but our sentiment is going to hide that. There we go. And then our sentiment is going to be on dimensionals as well. We just need two for that one. All right. And we'll just put it right about here. So you can see you don't really need to hold down the trunk of the tree because it does do that for you. Now, what I did on here that's fallen off is I took some of this really pretty ribbon. Now this is in Parakeet Party and it is metallic ribbon and it comes in all five of the new ink colors. I took some of this and I just made a knot and I frayed it with my fingers, but it did pop off. So let's get that back on. This time, I think I'm going to try a bow. Let's see what we can do here. All right. 
one. Sometimes I feel like my fingers are so big, they just get in the way of making bows, but you need them, right? <laughs> there we go. We'll try again. That's a little bit better. All right, so now I'm just gonna pull it through and then I'm just gonna fuss with it to get it a little bit smaller. I don't want it to overpower the area, but that actually looks pretty nice. And I think I do like that bow, or maybe we could even put it here. I think I like it better this way. All right, let me see if I can find my ribbon scissors. I'm just gonna trim it up. There we go. And we'll use a little glue dot to stick this on too. So to use the glue dot, I am gonna roll it so it's not as thick so it won't stick on other things once it's on your card. And I think I like it best this way. So there we go. So there's some new products that are coming up for you and some returning products that are continuing into the new annual catalog. And I just wanna say thank you so much for watching um, and giving me your time today. Have a great day.